How much did I spend? Mate. Thousands. I know, I know, guys. That's a huge amount of money spent for a week. But nobody has said that it's easy to move out and pursue your own personal business. So in this video, we welcome you to our lives. This challenge was initiated by HSBC and it's perfect because this girl never tracks her spending. Why you never track your spending? Why are you exposing me? Well, this challenge is perfect for me because Tori's always spends money on the most ridiculous things. So we're just gonna record our seven days of spending, every penny we spend, and then let you guys decide who's a better spender. The recording starts tomorrow because tomorrow is the first day of the month and that's when we have all the exciting spendings like rent. One week later Guys, we have our breakdown of our spending here I track my spending every month It's like the some grand big, scheme of things hurt. Just so crazy this week Day one, Taurus, what was your spending? My spending... I spent $456 on food When I work, I'm like constantly hungry So I keep having to go downstairs and buy Ta Siu Kai Fan uh, I spent $468 on food And the big boy of the day was rent R-E-N-T Unlucky for me, lucky for Gigi because this month is my turn to pay rent. And our rent is to re hold up a lingo. Twenty-three thousand Hong Kong dollars. Whoever is not paying rent that month needs to wash dishes. <laughs> Alright guys, apartment hunting day. So excited! We've just recently been kicked out of our apartment, so we now have to search for a new apartment. Yeah, because we rented our old one. A lot of people thought we bought it, but no, we didn't renovate a rented house. Yeah. We've been discussing whether we can buy or whether we can rent. Yeah. But personally, for me, like being a foreigner in Hong Kong is really normal to rent. I've been renting in Hong Kong for over seven years now. Do most of your foreign friends rent houses? Mostly, yeah. But the thing is, Hong Kong housing price keeps going up all the time and it's non-stop. So people think, oh, I missed the chance, I missed the chance. We should buy, we should buy, we should buy. If you buy, you're not going to sell it. So it's not an investment. Mm. So investment and living, they're two different things. All right, so then on day two, I had uh, brunch with a couple friends. And then I split the bill with one of the friends, so it was $310 per person. And I also bought my contact lenses. So I bought a lot yeah. of contact lenses for a couple months, but that was $800. <sighs> I spent so much money on food. Oh, it's nice. Because uh, with a very good group of friends of mine, we take turn paying. EPS. Yeah, I think it's like a big difference between me and you. Like you yeah. often take turns with your friends paying. You do AA, I think 90% of the time, right? Yeah, I think around 90% of the time. So is it Chinese or Asian style? If every time we have to count the money, I feel like, ah, oh, our relationship is so clean cut. Yeah. So sometimes I don't have to spend money at dinner, but sometimes you just can't dodge the bullet. If you manga sharing too many times, then you have no friends. Wait, <sighs> that day I went to the dentist. Oh! To go back there to Fukton and then the had to out. pay. Okay, bye to your teeth. Look so cute. And it cost me 12,000 Hong Kong <laughs> And there's still two more to go Do you think the spending is more painful or the teeth are more painful? I'm probably the spending Text the dentist, see if you can put them back in please <laughs> Do you think physical storage in Hong Kong is expensive? Think about the storage for computer Okay, so let's talk about the video Storage is the most expensive My top financial tip is instead of going in there and buying your own cameras, laptop, just get a boyfriend that already has bought all of those things. This is my free setup. I've got Torres' old hard drive, Torres' old camera, Torres' other old camera, Torres' tripod, and my own laptop. All right, guys, doing some online shopping to buy these cables from the UK. So this machine I just bought would work. Also got my eyebrows done for $780. This eyebrow? Yeah. What did you do to your eyebrow? I don't know, they, they like push them up. For 800? Stop spending money on these things, Georgie. Come on, eyebrow roll up surgery. What roll is that? up? It's not surgery. They just like put some cream and like push it up. And then the. I knew you always complain that I buy clothes. But the thing is, is that I'm gonna go try them on at home and I'll end up returning maybe four or five hundred dollars worth of the clothes. I'm actually earning money. Okay, also that day I spent eight hundred dollars on Tim dinner. Add up to a grand total of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
like, oh my gosh, we both only had one expense of the day. Yeah. day Every four. day should be day four. And then my only expense was $227 for grocery. Uh, we actually spend money, but that money is not technically spent. I bought some stocks that day. And he does like to put a lot of his money into the stock market. Whereas for myself, I invest in some stocks, but I'm a little bit more cautious. So I still keep a lot of my money in my bank account. It's very upset with me about. Why do you keep cash? Cash is king. Seems like you have so much cash you can put a down payment for our house. Sure. Find me a very cheap house. All right, it's raining a lot. So I had to grab this taxi, but it's not a Kowloon taxi and I'm going to Kowloon. So I have to pay double tunnel fee. And I just know tourists will have a lot to say about that. Why don't take the MTR? <sighs> Georgia is not as smart as me when it comes to transportation. I spent 2,900. So smart you are. Okay, but that <laughs> is for the parking fee of my car. $2,900 to have your car parked in the middle of Hong Kong. Okay, I think I got a bargain. I think the piano class is quite a necessary expense for me because I get quite creative when I play the piano and it, it helps me a lot. I had to pay our translator in Malaysia, so I paid him $1,400. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, I'm transferring some US dollars to Malaysia. Um, he was one of my viewers and he applied and he's mm. from Malaysia, so he's like multi multi multilingual. Hi Taurus, I'm Not that many languages. Every week or month we transfer money to Malaysia. My spending is getting lower and lower. I just had a really bad first three days. You did. We had a quite an eventful day. We had our friend's baby shower. I got her the present from the both of us, which is two. Oh my gosh, I think I only wrote Love Georgie on the book, which mm -hmm. is $240. Okay, so we are filming at this restaurant today. We're gonna order every kind of dish they have and Torres is filming it for his channel. So he has to pay and I get to eat for free. I think you should um, you should make a video of us going to get massages and facials and hair treatments. Mm, I think you should make a video about us shopping in camera shop, <laughs> flying private jet. I wow, <laughs> that's a lot. You spent $6,520 that week. That's a lot. What the? Oh what did you spend your money on, Georgie? What did I spend my money on? Eyebrows! I want to put your eyebrows again. <gasps> I bought you breakfast. I'm never buying you breakfast again. Before we reveal Tori's spending, oh, we all know Tori's sick jaw mean fai jiu chan. Tori's sick jaw mean jiu chan. My sick mean jiu chan. Sick jaw mean fai jiu chan. Sick jaw mean fai jiu chan. Sick jaw mean fai jiu chan. We all know Tori's sick jaw mean jiu fan. <laughs> Now you can win a MeanFi iPad Pro. All you have to do is scan this QR code or search for the official HSBC Hong Kong account on WeChat, where you can get the latest offers and information on HSBC's international benefits. Send them a secret message to say who you think spends money more wisely, and there will be two lucky winners, so please go follow them. HSBC makes our lives a lot easier and are here to help no matter where we are on the planet. They can help you with international mortgage assistance, overseas education, planning and support, and they are perfect for global spending and travel. Okay, your turn, are you ready? Okay. <gasps> 35K. 46,733.6. How do you, in one week? That's almost 200K per month. When I was a kid, everyone dreamed of being an astronaut. But now they want to be YouTubers. What they haven't realized is that astronauts get paid to travel to space and they get well looked after. But for us, there are lots of behind the scenes expenses. HD multi coat. <laughs> but Neil Armstrong made millions of dollars going to space. So actually, maybe I should have been an astronaut or a dental surgeon in Hong Kong. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Scan! Scan the QR code above here. Scan it, scan it, scan it. Scan the QR code. Scan, scan it with the iPad Pro. Scan, 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 scan. scan, 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 scan. <laughs>